Alec Pierce, Sea Hunt remembered. Absolutely, yes. Uh, now, I know a lot of you are fans of Sea Hunt, otherwise you wouldn't be watching uh, this. And I'm a big fan of Sea Hunt, have been my whole life. I have a very, very large collection. A lot of you know that already. And, um, and I, I would like to think that you still watch Sea Hunt. You can actually still Sea Hunt sometimes on television. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of the uh, uh, classic television uh, stations play Sea Hunt still regularly. In fact, sometimes it actually appears on mainstream TV as a filler. And not often at prime time, but you, you can find it. Just watch for it. You'll see Sea Hunt. Um, but watch it anyway. Watch it all the time. It's easy. Sure, the show was uh, filmed 60 years ago, but you can still get it. Now, you younger people, this is what it looks like when you watch Sea Hunt. Yeah, there's about four episodes on one of these things, and uh, I do too sometimes. But when you have your real one, I'm enjoying Sea Hunt. Here's what you do. Uh, this is the way Sea Hunt is supposed to be watched. This is actually one of the original Sea Hunt films. These films were produced in Hollywood, Ziv, uh, Ziv Productions. This, that was the movie theater, the movie production theater, production company. And uh, Ziv, then they shipped these out to various distribution points uh, around the world. I made a special project recently, which was based uh, originally on listing all of the actors. And we're going to talk about that because there were hundreds of actors. Lloyd Bridges was very, very good at drawing young actors in to Sea Hunt to give them work. And also they could actually earn some money. And in some cases, their experiences on Sea Hunt helped them to further their careers. We're going to talk about that. But um, uh, as I'm doing that, I'm always watching. I'm watching equipment. I'm watching techniques. I'm watching all kinds of stuff. And I couldn't help but, I can't help but laugh occasionally, my wife too. When we see something that happens on Sea Hunt, which very, very clearly is a mistake. I believe the proper term, Kevin, is a blooper. That's right, a blooper. And uh, Ziv Studios was notoriously cheap. Oh yeah, they, they, would, they would never, unless it was a really good reason, they would never refilm a scene and, uh, and, and spend any more money than they absolutely had to. Uh, and, and so when there was a blooper, even if it was a relatively obvious blooper, they would let it go. Now watch what's happening and see if you can spot the blooper. And then we'll take a look at it again. This particular one is from, a, from an episode called Ghost Light. Ghost Light. That's right. Let's do, let's do this, Kevin. Run that little thing that I showed you earlier and let's see if these people can spot this blooper. This particular episode was filmed somewhere around the world and Mike Nelson was diving 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 feet deep. I don't know. I don't remember the exact details, but he's diving anyway, okay? Well, in fact, most of the Sea Hunt episodes were filmed in Silver Springs in Florida. I've dived there myself many times, the very same spot. And that's where we hold our Sea Hunt uh, uh, Forever uh, uh, events. It's a lot of fun. And uh, in Silver Springs, uh, the water is only 20 feet deep, crystal clear. Very easy to spot Silver Springs. And, uh, and so it's, it's funny when you see Mike Nelson walking off into the surf in California in the cold water, right? And then it cuts to him underwater and he's swimming around in Silver Springs. And back in the background, you can see a glass bottom boat, a Silver Springs glass bottom boat gliding by. You can't actually see the people inside the glass bottom boat looking down, but they were there. That's right. Take a second look and see if you can't spot it. On the surface, in the background, you can see it's very shallow and you see that bottom, that boat come right by. Take a look. All right, did you see that? <laughs> yep, that's Silver Springs, Florida. And that's a glass bottom boat. Yep, they're still there today. In fact, when we put on our Sea Hunt events, the glass bottom boats come out and the visitors to the park look down and they watch us doing our Sea Hunt scenarios, fighting with alligators and anacondas and shooting spear guns at each other and a whole lot of fun. But that's what it was. Pretty interesting that day. They didn't, they didn't bother to, uh, nobody noticed it, or they didn't bother to uh, take that out and refilm it. There's another one that's even, even cuter. Okay, in this particular episode, it's called Underwater Narcotics. In this particular episode, you're going to see uh, 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 Mike, and he's using a mortem gun. Now, the mortem gun is quite a famous spear gun. It looks like, a, it looks like an assault rifle. It looks like an M16 assault rifle. Uh, just a straight barrel, a handle, at the, a shoulder a handle, and a handle here. No slings. It's a, it's a gas-powered, actually gunpowder-powered gun. And it's very, very distinctive gun. You're going to see that in this clip. 
and then, and then and then you watch and see if you can see the blooper that occurs just shortly after you see Mike with the mortem gun. Here it goes right now. Okay, underwater narcotics. This time I was armed. I hoped that I wouldn't have to use the spear gun, but I wanted to be able to defend myself if I had to. They spotted me. I had to make a quick decision. I fired over their heads, hoping to scare them into surrender. One turned and fled. The other didn't scare easy. He came charging at me with his knife. So you saw there, you saw the mic with his mortem gun. Did you see the blooper? Uh, well, what happens if you were watching? He's swimming along with the mortem gun, mortem gun, and then it cuts to another part of the scene, and it cuts back to Mike. Did you notice what he had in his hand when it cut back to him just a few seconds later? Yeah, he had a sling gun. He had a standard rubber sling gun with two bands on the front of it. And then it cut away again, and it came back, and he had the mortem gun back in his hand again. I don't know how they kept switching guns in the water. I think that was definitely a blooper. Watch it again and see if you don't catch it. This time I was armed. I hoped that I wouldn't have to use the spear gun, but I wanted to be able to defend myself if I had to. They spotted me. I had to make a quick decision. I fired over their heads, hoping to scare them into surrender. One turned and fled. The other didn't scare easy. He came charging at me with his knife. Uh, okay, pretty slick. Huh? <laughs> yeah, there's one more. Now, this is really, really sad. I mean, I saw this, and I had to replay this three times before I said, wow. I can't believe that they didn't fix that one up. But here we go. Here's the, here's the setup. This one is called The Meat, M-E-E-T, The Meat. And it's a story about some counterfeiters. Yeah, they have some really good plates, and they're making counterfeit $20 bills in a cave. And this cave can only be reached from underwater. So, you know, the typical scenario, for various reasons, Mike ends up in the cave. He finds a printing press. He finds the plates and everything else. And while he's in there, the two counterfeiters show up. So there's two counterfeiters in there and Mike, and they start a fight, the three of them. Well, I don't know. Obviously, these guys don't watch Sea Hunt because you don't fight with Mike now, so you're going to lose. You know, that's the way it is. But they decide to have a fight, and, and, and you see what happens here. They're all in scuba gear, right? And then you'll see, watch. Watch what happens here. The meat. Here we go. Did you catch that? Okay, yeah, yeah, you just see it? The one guy, the guy on the left there, okay, the big guy on the left, the big dumb guy, Mike, he's in scuba gear. He comes running at Mike, and Mike decks him and knocks him down, and then he goes and fights the other guy and takes care of him, and then he goes back to the first guy, and the first guy jumps on Mike and knocks him down, but the first guy is not in scuba gear anymore. Somehow he got rid of his tank and his regulators. He's just, he's just in his wetsuit and mask. And he tussles with Mike again. Mike decks him again, knocks him down, runs over, hits the other guy, comes back to the first guy. Now the first guy's back in his scuba gear. And all this is taking place on land. Watch it again. I, I, I thought this was unbelievable. Watch it now.
<laughs> pretty crazy, huh? Anyway, there's several more of these. I get a kick out of them. They're kind of fun. I mean, I'm watching Sea Hunt, and I'm really enjoying it. It's like being back in my childhood again, but I can't, I can't help but not comment on these bloopers. There was a time, years ago, if you were watching Sea Hunt with me, and you pointed out a mistake, I'd be upset. I said, no, nah, it's Mike Nelson. You should be quiet. It's perfect. <laughs> but it's television, and I'm a lot older now, and it's fun to watch. Anyway, bloopers. Bloopers from Sea Hunt. Maybe you've never seen them before. I have more. I'm going to show you some more of those. We're going to talk about the actors on Sea Hunt, too. Hope you enjoy. Maybe this would be some incentive for you to go get out your Sea Hunt episodes and watch them again. Hope so. Alec Pierce, Sea Hunt Remembered. Talk to you again soon.